Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds. We are going to be showing you a critical period for these splits that we've made that is really advantageous to killing the mites while you've made your split. There's some things to watch out for. A lot of people are going to tell you treat your bees with oxalic acid once every week or just treat your colonies once every month throughout the year or do it every four days or, or, or whatever. Most of that information is incorrect or completely wrong as far as effective mite elimination. When it first came to be legal in this country, a lot of us thought it was a silver bullet and we tried it blindly. Some of us tested it out first, the smart ones. And what I have found and many other professional beekeepers have found is most of the information out there is wrong or only partially true. And in order for our bees to be at their best, we need to make sure that we eliminate the mites. So what are we looking for when we use oxalic acid vapor? I'm fixing to show you. However, I'm having issues with my ProVap 110 yet again. I'm gonna have a video on that upcoming. I'm not very happy. You know, I've, I use mine a lot more than some people do, but still, I have not used it enough to justify having to get it worked on. And I will be talking about that more in the future. All right, so first let's get into these colonies. I was really hoping to be able to use a natural oxalic acid vapor treatment on these girls because they are at a critical stage, which is just awesome. It's awesome if you have an oxalic acid unit that's working and you can eliminate mites because when we make these splits and we introduce the queens, we're not in any hurry to get these queens laying right just as soon as possible. We try to make them with mostly nerf bees and capped brood, a brood that's going to be emerging out, and that gives us a period where there's virtually no capped brood into the hive for a short period, usually about almost a week. And also we're going to be talking about here in one second about when you should use oxalic acid vapor so you won't cause any issues with your colony. All right, so that is just a frame that was used for honey extraction. It's now gonna be a brood comb. It's gonna take them a while to use that. Queens aren't super prone to going over to honey extracted combs and start laying in them right out of the gate. Now this one's almost all food right here, which is very important for a young colony that's trying to get to the next stage. Let's get to the brood where the information's really at. You can see that there's some pollen patty in here. We have a great bit of pollen coming in, especially for this time of the year. The weather's just been perfect for the early goldenrod to produce and some other plants. But these young colonies don't need any stress. If we get several days of rain, the big colonies have backup. These, these guys don't. But look what they've already put in. That's, that's a little bit of backup, but they'll burn through that quickly. So we got all that nice new pollen coming in, being packed away. Not a whole lot of diversity in it, which is also part of the reason for the pollen patty. I'm seeing just a little bit of eggs on that frame right there. Let's see. There's the queen right there. We'll fix them to show you her. She's a beautiful looking thing. Now as far as oxalic acid potentially causing issues when you're treating, that really only happens when you've just put the queen in or you've just hived a swarm. All right, so there she is down at the bottom. You can see her nice blue dot. She's swollen quite a bit. She's only been laying for a handful of days. That doesn't mean that she hasn't been out of her cage for several days, but she has eggs down in here. Watch out. She's got larvae of different ages. Yeah, she's definitely got some larvae that are about, you know, two or three days. And the next frame looks like it's probably very similar. And that's what I'm seeing in all of these nukes over here. And we do them all at the same time, so everything's on a schedule. You know, so I can go up through this line and, and do them all at the same time. Try to be as efficient as possible. So she's just starting to lay good. We're talking larvae that are maybe three days old. So she's been laying for probably about six days. It takes about three and a half days for the egg to hatch. And then the larvae look to me like they're about three day old larvae. So anyways, there's no capped brood in here. It's all come on out. That's why there's so many bees. There's a lot of nurse bees. As long as they have food, they're gonna be going forward. This is a perfect time to treat. You don't wanna do it too early. If you do it right when the queens 
coming out of the cage or right at you know right around that time it's a very critical period she has not started laying yet when she starts creating brood the pheromone dynamic changes in a big way so if you catch a swarm that has a virgin or a mated queen and you treat during that period where they haven't set up shop and they haven't locked in on the brood and pheromones, you can actually cause, even with oxalic acid vapor, as gentle as it is, the colony to leave or them to not accept their queen. I, I guarantee you, if I would have treated with oxalic acid vapor three or four days after installing the cages, the queen cages, I probably would have had a degree of loss. I had a like almost a perfect acceptance rate on this batch out of a well, I only lost one out of a 40 splits I can live with that I love it take it every day and I honestly think there's probably something wrong with one of the Queens because I did treated them all the same and I didn't do any treatments or anything but this is something important to know oxalic acid vapor is a nice tool when you're broodless like this because what's happening is every varroa mite that's in this split is exposed it's a perfect time to do your oxalic acid vapor now because she's laying brood. They love her. They love laying queens. There's, you could do oxalic acid vapor today and do it tomorrow. They're not going to kill her now. But if you did it right before she started laying or during that introduction period, you could totally uh, have them kill that queen. Just, it just messes up the dynamics in there. So be very careful with any treatment. All the treatments are like that besides Apivar. Um, which is the treatment that I'm having to use. I was going to use the oxalic acid vapor, but because my ProVap is not working again, we are going to be using an Apivar strip, which will work. One of the things I like about oxalic acid and Apivar is that they're both very gentle on the bees. They don't cause the queens um, stress. They don't mess up with the pheromone dynamics really a whole lot. Oxalic acid vapor does for a very, very brief period but it's over with very quick. And they don't cause brood loss like thymol and uh, formic and a lot of the natural products will that are just really strong smelling. So right now, it's a perfect time to do it. If we wait another four days or so, they're gonna start capping that brood and every single mite possible is gonna be in that capped brood and now our oxalic acid vapor is not gonna work really good. I'm going to have more information on that in the future. A lot of people tell you oxalic acid vapor is the only tool that you need. It can, it can be the only tool that you need, but it, you can't just start firing away and expecting good results. You have to be thoughtful on how you take care of that. And this is an important thing to be doing right now. High mite loads result in dead or weak colonies coming out of winter. All right, we're going to throw this colony back together. Probably throw them a little bit of sub, but this Apivar strip, unfortunately, is going to have to do the job. It's a lot more expensive than oxalic acid. That strip right there is like $2.50. That oxalic acid vapor would have cost me probably about uh, $0.10, cents, something like that. Much cheaper. But again, if there was a brood, it wouldn't work as good. All right, we'll talk more about the issues with the oxalic acid vapor um, machine that I'm using, the ProVap 110. This is the time to do it. Whenever you're making your splits, catching your swarms, if you already have an oxalic acid vapor tool, you might as well do it. Get those bees clean. They will thank you for it. Thanks for watching our videos.